Stay off of the, I, even when it comes down to here, man, stay off the dating apps. How, bro, how many, bro, let's be real. How many times have we heard of people getting set up out here? Men getting set up meeting a girl on a dating app or something like that. Or meeting a girl on Instagram and now getting set up. She set them up to get robbed. We hear that all the time. We talk about these stories all the time. Where dudes getting marked from meeting somebody here. Like, like it never fails. That's why it was crazy to me. I'm like, man, they talking about this everywhere. They, they, they blew this up. Like, how in the heck are they just, and they, I, it's great that they're talking about it, but when we see those stories that we talk about here, about the situation where a dude was set up in a hotel or something like that after going to meet a girl, we never see that on mainstream media. We don't see that on CNBC. We don't see that on MSNBC. We see that nowhere. We just see it in a short little story of something somebody talked about, and we got to go find it and talk about it here on the podcast, right? Yeah. They never make it big. But they talked about this on every news station. You get what I'm saying? So I'm just saying when it comes down to the men, you know, this is, I'm talking to the men right now. This had nothing to do with the ladies. This is to the men. Men, do not let this report scare you. I've been doing it for a long time. And it's the, I, literally, I promise you, I've had the best time I've ever had in my life. Every man I think sh should experience it. Who have put themselves in a position of where they've, you know, worked hard and built themselves up. And, and now they just want to go out and have a good time. Relax a little bit. Especially with everything that we deal with out here in the U.S., man. <laughs> you know? You know? And, and, and everybody should travel. This, this, I'm not just saying men should travel. I'm just making it more about men because this is a report about men. No. They made it specifically about men. Men traveling, going to date, and getting killed. So I'm telling men, don't be scared of this report. This is a setup. That's what I feel. It's a setup. Yes, this happened. I'm sure it happened, right? But it happens just as much here. Let's talk about how many men in the last two months have been set up in the U.S. Let's talk about that. You think it's more than eight, bro? What you think? You think it's more than eight? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. You think? We'll see that, though. They're talking about eight that happened in the last couple of months. How many you think is for men in the U.S.? I'll say, I'll say you could times five that. We had one who we just saw a story on. Well, he didn't, he, her, the girl didn't set him up, but he got murked by her dude. The rapper, what's his name? You know what I'm talking saying? about the, uh, back then, like about a year and a half ago, right? Yeah. With the, well, no, I this, no, this wasn't, name. this wasn't a year and a half ago. This wasn't like, that, this was, this oh. was this year. I'm thinking you're talking about the situation in the apartment. Remember where the girl uh, set him up, where he went to go. That was another shit? situation. Yeah, I, I you know what I'm saying? saying? I, know, but I know what you're talking about. Though. Yeah. 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 But you know what's crazy about uh, Columbia, bro? What? Uh, my boy, son, just literally moved out there. He only 26 years old. He just moved out there because he loved the women out there. And so far, yeah. I guess, supposedly, he's saying that everything is good. He's having the time of his life, like having a blast. And mm -hmm. He went and visited, uh, like, he went and visited a lot. He went back and forth for like a whole year. But he finally just really moved out there, uh, I think like around November, around like November, but he moved out there for good. Yeah. Yeah, to Columbia. Um, okay. So that's the funny part, man. But so it's like, yeah, you're right. I mean, there's other people that, you know, that, that goes out there, travel out there, and no complaints. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, I told you, my boy Sonny actually just finalized moving out there. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's how much he liked it and enjoyed it. Yeah. So with that being said, I mean, you're right, man. You know, uh, it's just their mistake. You know, people on that dating app, that's that's their mistake. But it's not all it's not all the way that way. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like, it's not a good out there. Yeah, and and this had nothing to do with talking men out of uh, 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 hey leave the country to go and date and find a wife and everything. Like that. This had nothing to do with none of that. So I want to make sure that anybody who may have something to say in the comment or have something to say about what we're talking about right now, this have nothing to do about that. I just saw this article that I think is unfair because we sit here and talk about the setups all the time that happen in the U.S. and they're never uh, uh, talked about on the mainstream. They're never talked about in media. They're talked about on little platforms mm -hmm. and that's it and it's not talked about in a way to where the man was set up it's talked about in a way to where oh he just got killed it wasn't oh he was set up by 
some women and this happened and he got drugged. You never hear the story like that. It's always, oh, he got killed, you know, and they trying to find more details. But they got it all laid out for people who leave the country. They got all the information. Oh, yeah, eight men, this is what happened. This is where they was at. They was on this dating app, and they was in Medellin, and it happened here at this club, this way. It was this drug and everything. To me, man, it's a setup, man. You know, so I just want to continue to just tell the men, hey, take those trips. Trust me, you know. Hey, if you meet somebody, you meet somebody. But if, if it's just a getaway, get away. But don't let these stories because we're going to get more of them, I promise you. Because now we're starting to see a stream of men leaving. We're going to get so many more. I'm telling y'all now, as someone who's been there, done that. It will be the time of your life. And if you do it the right way, it's just as safer, safer than being out here in the U.S. I promise you that. And that's a fact, you know. So anything else to say about this, bro? On top of that, like I said, I gave my input. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, if you ever go to a new uh, a new environment anywhere out the country or to another state it's always good to talk talk to people talk to like business owners people that been here been living here for a while you know what i'm saying and talk just give them a talk have them give you a rundown you know have them let you know like hey is this area good if you a man hey what type of women are these women are these good women out here are they trustworthy you know what i'm saying i mean you got to talk and speak up and sometimes people will give you an insight like nah bro actually don't talk to none of these women over here they kind of do this this can happen a lot people will give you a rundown when you go to different state cities or whatever if you go to the closed bar talk to the owners people that you can trust that you know that they're not gonna get you set up because they know it's gonna fall back on them if something happened you feel me so yeah i just gave my input out there like that that's what i do everywhere i go hey i'm in another city whatever like that i go to the bars man i chop it up with the with the bartender stuff like that just to get some rundown on what, what's going on and who to talk to, who not to talk to, and how to deal with it. So Yeah, facts, facts. That. Yeah, just want to put that out there too. Yeah, facts, facts. And also just don't go by your also don't go by yourself. Yeah. If if that's the case too. You know what I'm saying? Wait till if, if some of the uh, fellas is saying, Man, I need a couple of months before I go. Wait. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you really don't understand nothing about that country at all, and it's gonna be your first time ever, just wait. Me. I've been going by myself for years, so it's different. You know, if you if you know about it and you got people out there and everything like that, it's different. But I would say just wait. Wait till you a couple of the fellas could go with you. You know, these these things really not happening if you also if you got people with you. You know what I'm saying? Cause then you got, you know, other other people around you like minds to where, you know, y'all could figure out what y'all want to do, you know, and everything like that. So I say bring people with you, man. Matter of you fact, know what I'm saying? Don't they so, treat you like royalty in these other countries when an Americans come out there and visit anyway? That's, bro, that's, all, that's, that's what all I all know. I've ever, that's all I've ever been yeah. through, bro. You know, <laughs> they and, treat and, like and, royalty. Yeah, and it be it, look, it be, it's it's the countries. I I don't care from 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 Mexico to Colombia to Belgium to San Marta to I mean so many places, man. To me, you get treated way better in these countries than you'll ever get treated out here in the U.S., especially as men, especially as black men. I'm telling you that straight up. As black men, you get treated like you would never get treated, you know, uh, 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 you know, in, in these other countries. And that's a fact. That's a fact, man. You know, so just treat you straight like a king. You know, you feel, you, you might say champion, you'll feel straight like a champion. In the ring, my eye on the mission At 11 years old, this right here was my vision Make it to the top, catch everyone's attention The haters they can hate, as long as they listen To the words that I say as my tongue keep twisting Heavyweight flow, you not in my division